Hello to you all. Um, after a little break, I'm back for another video with you all. Today I'll be talking on something which has been coming again and again. Um, you can call it as the universal messages or you can call it as tapping into the knowledge of the universe or it could just be my human mind talking deeply enough for me to listen to and bring this across you all today. We are all aware that on earth in this year, we are in an era which we call as the Iron Age or the Kali Yuga as the Hindu scriptures, the Vedas talk about. It's like we are at a point where the Iron Age is towards the end of its cycle, which also means we are heading towards the Golden Age, the Golden Era. That's the Satya Yuga, which we all know through the Vedas. So today, why am I talking about all these yugas? And that's the reason why I had to come and let you all know about what is coming up again and again. And which I felt that it's better I talk it out so that I'll be a little bit satisfied and relieved about it. That yeah, I've spoken it all out and told it all. So as I said, we are in the final stages, the end of the iron stage. And that is exactly why a lot of people are feeling miserable. Sometimes they do get the happiness, but it doesn't last long. They might end up getting beautiful jobs, job of their dreams, and then they end up losing it. And that too suddenly. So a lot of such shocks is what this year is giving to a lot of people. So we are really at the verge of the worst stage of Iron Age. That's the Kali Yuga. Where it really goes deep and dark. And bad for earth overall. But as I said, the good thing is the Satya Yoga will answer eventually. I do not know whether it will be when we all will be living still. Or it will be after we pass that the Satya Yoga will come in. But how much I can say is, this has not been the first time that the eras and the yugas have come and gone. This had been, been a repeated cycle time and again. So what is that repeated cycle I'm talking about? So the Iron Age is followed with Golden Age. Golden Age is followed with Silver. The Silver Age is followed with Bronze. And the Bronze is followed once again with the Iron Age. As per the Vedas, the present Kali Yuga is followed by the Satya Yuga. 
After the Satya Yoga, the Dwapa Yoga, the Treta Yoga, and then once again, it's the Kali Yoga. So we keep repeating these cycles, four cycles. And this is not the first time that it has happened on earth. Earth has been going through these yugas time and again. Multiple times. And that is exactly why it is not important to understand we all get happy knowing that it's Sati Yoga which is about to come. Okay, if not in this lifetime of mine, next time when I take birth, I'll be in a Sati Yoga. But that's all that goes on in a person's mind. And we get happy about it. But while going through a lot of work which I do, be it with uh, the clients or be it through the heart, H-A-R-T method. So many informations and answers have been coming in over the years. That, let me tell you a different aspect or a different uh, way of actually seeing these yugas or knowing about it so each yuga we have lived or each era the four eras which we have lived one entire cycle life cycle our ancestors and we are our ancestors as well so each cycle of yugas which we have lived another cycle has come in after the entire four yugas ends so after the kali yuga ends again satyuga begins again the satyuga and the yugas continue. So it goes on and on and on. And as I said, this is not the first time we are living this for you guys, which we all thought we did. Rather, the uh, Mahabharata and the Ramayana, which we all know about was from a different life cycle. It was not the same yoga. That is why we are not able to find a lot of, you know, people um, who have seen those. Um, of course, we have a lot of certain proofs here and there that it existed, the battle had taken like place like that, etc., etc., but, you know, concrete, concrete uh, information passed on from generations, it doesn't exist. So, it was the Ramayana and the Mahabharata, it was a part of the yoga or the life cycles, the previous one. Or maybe even the previous to previous one, I do not know. I'm just giving you what I feel and has come as information. So now having said this, so are we supposed to be happy because Satya Yuga is coming? Or we are now aware that after Satya Yuga, the other Yugas come. That's after golden era, the silver, the bronze. Iron Age comes again. The same Kali Yuga we are right now living in. So should we actually be happy that a new Yuga, new life cycle is beginning, is about to begin? Through one of the heart readings, The divine universe which is formless and we are all energies of that same universe revealed that the universe exists till all this exists. 
the earth exists, the planet. The universe exists till then. The energy, the source, the divine universe exists till we all exist. When it was relayed to me, at that time I didn't understand the deeper meaning of it all. But when nothingness was experienced during these heart sessions, and it's not an experience which actually is permanent, it just comes and goes and leaves you with a lot of uh, happiness, but at the same time with a lot of things which you suddenly know now. In my case, it did leave a lot of heaviness when I learned that we as humans have been creating, desiring, um, power hungry, money hungry, materialistic hungry. We have been creating things one after the other. And we all humans are so proud of it. All beings. And we have been creating and creating and creating. And these creations, till it exists, everything repeats. So what is the universe saying that till we all are there? The universe exists. The source, the divine source exists. Another way of putting it is Till we keep creating, till we keep attaching, till we keep craving. This will be an endless cycle, endless life cycles. And the universe, the divine source has to exist just because the cycles are not ending it's going on and on since it started so when does all this stop answer is there when we stop when we stop all these creations cease to exist. The universal divine and all these creations, all these energies, which are actually one, truly become one. The universal divine exists at the same time and does not exist at the same time. Which is why we use the term nothingness, going back to nothingness, the source. So till we as beings, energy beings of this planet or any other planet of, or of any other galactic division, keep on creating, the universe, the divine source has to be there. And from those divine souls, the divine beings, which have been born time and again in every yugas, to raise the human consciousness, to awaken all humans, they have to keep coming in different forms and taking births. I am not going to even mention the word religion, in which religion it is written. Or which religious books. Because what I am saying today. Some other being has said. In another life cycle. In an another yuga. An iron age. And what we sometimes feel that. I know this. Where does that knowledge come from? 
it's because we have been part of those other life cycles and yugas we suddenly just remember it all suddenly not all people but some people begin to recall it all so what i have said others have said before not just in this life cycle in this yuga but other life cycles other yugas as well so i'm not saying something which is brand new eye opening so what is to be done now why am i talking about this today as i said we all humans are focused on ascending reaching higher spiritual journeys many humans are awakened to that now but does it mean that it's a matter of every human ascending and reaching higher journeys will that be enough maybe i listen maybe i'll not ascend but if i ascend and i go towards nothingness at least i i as an energy my cycles end probably i don't know but do you even know even if me as an energy go towards that nothingness like the nothingness the source itself maybe at some other life cycle my soul will come and say as an energy oh i need to take birth now to save or to raise the vibrations etc etc so the cycle cannot end with few humans ascending and and the evolution of few humans it only ends with all ascending together this is one of the major reasons why i have come today it's very crucial that we all need to ascend together we all need to come together and end the cravings desires end the madness end the yugas end the life cycles do not even crave for the sati yuga do not even be aversive towards the kali yuga just end it all i am not telling you all to actually go and end your life so do not take me wrong i am talking about raising ourselves to such an a level that we not just help ourselves but help everyone who is ready to ascend and it is not like only healers have that extra energy in them or extra blessings given from the universe so they can help others no each and every person is made of the same energy and you can ascend you can ascend and help others ascend and these life cycles i'm talking about are made of four yugas these life cycles are not like exact repetitions understand this every repetition of a life cycle probably the years in earth years is shortened now and it is more worse so the kali yuga is more worse than the previous life cycle kali yuga so imagine if these life cycles continue what is going to happen in the next life cycle and beyond that in my own way i keep setting the intention relate out to the universe to the divine source multiple times to end it and take us all in take everything in back 
let everyone ascend. And the reason I am out here today to talk about all these things is because every person who is listening today and if it has somewhere touched your heart, set that intention in your meditations, in your prayers, relay it out. That it's not just I who essence. May everything go back. May everything go back to the nothingness. All creations are illusions. Everything is an illusion. We all have been stuck in endless cycles of these illusions. It's time to wake ourselves and wake every person around us. It's time. It's time. May all be blessed. May Shiva, the energy, the universal energy, bless. Take care.